your future is the reflection of the choices you are making today. But how can you know that you are making exactly the right choices if you don't really know what you want? Dear viewers, welcome to your favorite channel, Burundi Gospel TV. Here, I'm Annie on the mic, and I'm so very glad, I'm so glad to welcome you in this new number of our special show, Know that help you to discover who you are really. So today we have, we are honored and uh, we have a huge privilege to welcome a special guest. And without making wait anymore, let's give him the floor so that he can introduce himself and you can also know who will be talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, Annie. And then thank you those who are able to connect with us today. Mm -hmm. My name is Apostle Joshua Ham Kurunji, mm -hmm. coming from Kampala, Uganda, just your neighbors mm -hmm. uh, to the north. And also I lead a church called the Kingdom Tabernacle. And I'm glad to be back. Glad to be back to Burundi. Welcome, sir. Thank Welcome, you. Apostle. Mm -hmm. uh, dear viewers, as you have understood, we are with uh, Apostle Joshua Ham Kurundi and he's from Kampara and today we are going to discuss about my life vision or your life vision or the vision you are, the vision you have in life so before going to the heart of the matter please if you have a notebook and a pen get them close to you because as you know words fly away but writings remain so please dear apostle what does it mean to have a vision or a life vision I think to have a vision or a life vision, I, I would define vision as a picture of a preferred future. And I like the word preferred because uh, vision has to do with what you want to see come into pass, what you anticipate. It's talking about anticipation. It's talking about dreams. It's talking about pursuits. So it's very important to have a vision, a life vision, or a targeted preferred future, mm -hmm. because that would be your motivation for life. Mm -hmm. It's what you use to wake up in the morning and say, I have a vision. Mm -hmm. I have something I'm working towards. I either want to be a better person. Mm -hmm. I, I want to have you know, a, a better income status, for example. Mm -hmm. I want a better relationship status. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that is a preferred future mm -hmm. becomes a vision that you are pursuing. Okay, thank you so much for the answer. And as the scripture says in Proverbs 29, 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. If that's so important to have a vision, if yes, why? And if not, why? It's important to have a vision. When the Bible talks about, you know, without vision, my people perish. Mm -hmm. They perish because they have nothing they are living towards. They mm -hmm. have no pursuits in their spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, a dead man has no vision. You know, everything that God wired us for mm -hmm. is to drive us towards a preferred future. When that dies, mm -hmm. even though the man might be walking on the street, mm -hmm. he's as good as dead because there is no vision in him to pursue. That scripture actually can be compared with the one that says without knowledge, mm -hmm. my people perish. Yeah. So we can say that vision mm -hmm. is really knowledge being put into practice. Mm -hmm. That I receive knowledge and by the knowledge I have, mm -hmm. I paint a vision. If you do not have knowledge, you will not have the ability to create vision. Mm -hmm. So vision is coming out of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Where there is no vision, where there is no knowledge, mm -hmm. my people perish. Mm -hmm. you, you see, when you go to school, for example, mm -hmm. school is really a center of planting vision. Mm -hmm. Someone will tell you at, at 12 years, I want to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a vision. Mm -hmm. And then they'll go to school and get knowledge mm -hmm. that will help them implement vision. So mm -hmm. they start to study medicine because they have a vision. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't have a vision, you go to school, you don't know, even know what you want to study. Mm -hmm. You say, you know what, let me, let me just be, a, let me do whatever comes because mm -hmm. you didn't have vision. So it's very important mm -hmm. for you to have a personal vision and vision is on many levels. Mm -hmm. But I, I guess right now we're really talking about it at a personal level. Mm -hmm. But as you develop a personal vision, then you're able to develop a family vision. Then you're mm -hmm. able to develop a ministry vision. Mm -hmm. All of these things are coming from that first point of vision, which is your personal vision. Mm -hmm. And I believe the scripture is saying my people perish because God mm -hmm. puts life in vision. I like that. Mm -hmm. God puts life, life in vision. vision. Yeah. So if you don't have vision, you don't have life. 
Wow. Dear viewers, as you have understood, God himself, he is a God of vision. The coming of Jesus to the earth to save us from our sins was the vision of God. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. So now let's ask to the apostle, does just having a vision sufficient to make them happen in reality? I believe vision is just step number one. When we were stepping into the new year, I was asking God for what is the matching word? What's that word that is going to help us be successful this year? What does God have to say to a man who wants to be successful? And he gave me four steps and I can share with them with, them with you. Yeah. So he says, one, man must have vision. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine that's what we're talking about today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You must be able to envision the year. Mm -hmm. Okay. So number one, step number one is vision. Mm -hmm. But step number two is planning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because when you have vision, you have to plan mm -hmm. according to the vision. Mm -hmm. Step number three is prioritizing. Mm -hmm. So you start to prioritize according to the plan, mm -hmm. which is according to the vision. Yeah. And then step number four is you start to take action. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. you take action on according to the priorities that you have been given. Mm -hmm. For example, if you want to, if you, for example, I'm a preacher. Mm -hmm. If my vision is to be a better preacher, mm -hmm. to a more, be a more impactful preacher, mm -hmm. to be a person that will bring life to men. Mm -hmm. Then because of that vision, mm -hmm. I will start to plan around it. Mm. What do I have to do to be that man? Mm. Then I'll start to take priorities mm. around that vision. Yeah. There are people I will not hang out with mm. because they are not priority. Mm. There are relationships I will not pursue mm. because they are not priority. Mm -hmm. There are places I will not go because it's, it doesn't feed my vision. Yeah. So my plan yeah. is how or what do I need to do to feed my vision. Vision, mm -hmm. vision is very innocent. Mm -hmm. It grows according to how you feed it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. If you don't feed it healthy, mm -hmm. it will die. Mm -hmm. If you begin to feed your vision, I have to study better. I have to read more. I have to pray more because I'm feeding the vision that I saw. Mm -hmm. However, last step, which is step number four, is I have to take mm -hmm. action. I must begin to exercise the small steps mm -hmm. that lead to the big step. They say Rome wasn't built in a day. Mm -hmm. But when you see the vision of Rome, mm -hmm. you have to lay the first brick. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. We had so many steps. You just four. I think you have reached them somewhere. And uh, my question is, once you have written your vision, yes. because as Abacoc 2, 2 says that write down the vision and make it Make it plain. Plain. So that who we read will we'll run, run to we'll it. Run with it. Yes. Is that necessary to write down the vision? It's important to write the vision. Imagine Christianity without the Bible. Wow. Christianity started what? Mm -hmm. Acts chapter number two. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. More than two thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. Now imagine our faith today mm -hmm. without the written vision. So mm -hmm. we are not the first to write vision. Mm -hmm. Even God knew. Mm -hmm. That for whatever he wants to do on the earth, if it is not in written form, mm -hmm. it will not be transferred. Mm -hmm. Writing the vision must become a tradition. Mm -hmm. Because as Africans, if I would say that, mm -hmm. our biggest tradition of passing on information is oral tradition. Mm -hmm. Your great-great-grandfather told your grandfather something, who told your father something, who mm -hmm. told you something mm -hmm. around the fire in mm -hmm. some midnight, some day. Mm -hmm. But that is not sustainable mm -hmm. it's not sustainable we are living in a world where no one is going to sit around the fire mm -hmm. to hear stories of a grandfather mm -hmm. however if it is written down mm -hmm. it can be transferred that's mm -hmm. one two so uh, I, if i'm to give the steps i would say mm -hmm. one we write down the vision so that it can be easily transferable yeah. but secondly we write it down so that it is easily memorable Mm -hmm. So it's not just about the transfer, mm -hmm. it's also about writing in memory. Mm -hmm. In fact, Habakkuk 2, when he says write it down on tables, mm -hmm. those tables are not just the physical tables, mm -hmm. they're really the tables of our hearts. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's yeah. why you see that the scripture uh, mm -hmm. says that in the last day I'll make a new covenant, I'll write my laws in your hearts. Mm -hmm. Now when you're reading mm -hmm. what is written, mm -hmm. you are writing on your heart. How is that? Let me try that again. Mm -hmm. When you read what is written, mm -hmm. you are actually writing mm -hmm. things on your heart. Mm -hmm. So the reason we write the vision on paper, mm -hmm. write it down somewhere you can go back and read and reread it and reread it and memorize it. When you write it down, you're actually mm -hmm. writing it on your heart. 
I'll give you an example of my mm-hmm. life vision. Of course, I know I'm a apostle, mm-hmm. but the vision that God gave me was to raise a new generation mm-hmm. of kingdom-minded leaders mm-hmm. that are going to advance the kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. I have said it a million times. It's in my heart now. And because I wrote it down, mm-hmm. number one, I can transfer it, but number two, I can memorize it. Mm-hmm. Wow, wow, wow. And I think you have understood the importance of writing your vision. How many cars do you want? How many houses do you want to build? How many children do you want to give birth to? Now, we can also ask her to dear apostle, what may be the vision killers that may destroy or kill our somebody vision in life? Yes. As we talk about vision killers, mm. I think we should also talk about vision sources. Mm-hmm. Yeah, vision okay? sources. Because you see, there are visions you can kill, there are visions you can't kill. Oh, wow, uh, wow, if, wow. If I was in church, Go I would on. say, Go tap ahead. your neighbor and say, ah, yeah. Amen. Okay. Amen. Yeah. Now, I mm-hmm. think the reason why most of our visions die mm-hmm. is because they're in the very carnal, natural, physical realm. Mm. And there's a lot of competition at that level. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. so people can argue out your physical vision. People mm-hmm. can fight your, your, you know, your, just the, the dream that you have on a normal, natural level. Mm-hmm. As I talk about vision killers, mm-hmm. I, I would want to emphasize mm-hmm. that there must be God mm-hmm. in your vision. Mm-hmm. Because if you want God to defend vision, he mm-hmm. must be source of vision before mm-hmm. he's defender of vision. Wow. Let me say that again. He has mm-hmm. to be source of vision before, before he's defender mm-hmm. of vision. Mm-hmm. So vision killers come to... Uh, I love vision killers. Mm-hmm. Wow. Why? Because they check the authenticity mm-hmm. of your vision. Mm-hmm. You see, when you see something, you can't unsee it. Mm-hmm. You, you, you can't forget what you saw. Mm-hmm. Now, the people that come to kill vision, if they mm-hmm. find someone who's really established in vision, mm-hmm. it is coming to test and check the validity mm-hmm. of vision. Mm-hmm. So some of the reasons why, and I think this is the major reason why visions die, mm-hmm. is because, they, first of all, we're not birthed from God. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. And we must, before we have a personal vision, mm-hmm. that, you know, this is what I want, Mm. I think the first place we want to go to is mm. find out what does God want for me mm. so that the God vision mm. gives birth to the perf- personal vision. Mm. Did you catch that? Yes. So that the God vision mm. gives birth to the, the personal, personal vision. vision. Yeah. Now, when the vision killers come, they have mm. to go to the source. Mm. Yeah. Because if you want to kill my vision of being an apostle, yeah. you have to first fight with the one who called oh, me yeah. to be an apostle. <laughs> Yes. So I just thought that that was important so that uh, the deeper we go in this conversation, mm-hmm. I wouldn't want people to think that uh, we're just talking about, I want to get married, mm-hmm. I, I want to have children. Mm-hmm. I, I think answering the God vision question in your life mm-hmm. becomes very important. But let me go to the directly to uh, the context in which you asked. Mm-hmm. Vision killers, uh, what kills vision? Mm-hmm. One is, you, you saw in Habakkuk 2, it says that they may run mm-hmm. those that read it. Yes. So I think some of our visions are never shared. Mm. Okay, a vision that is not shared dies quickly. Mm. Even if you're very convinced about a vision, mm. but you're not sharing the vision, mm. it will just have a natural death because there is no vision God gives mm. that a man will implement alone. Mm. You will need people, mm. the right people, vision supporters, vision partners, mm. people that will help you bring that vision to pass. If you don't have those people, Mm-hmm. Chances are that your vision will die. Mm-hmm. The other thing I think which also kills vision is lack of passion. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. When vision comes, the first thing that must happen to a vision carrier mm-hmm. is to for them to become a passion carrier. Mm-hmm. Because the driving force of vision is passion. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why you see uh, we have something called the passion of the Christ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And it's mm-hmm. talking about him going to the cross and mm-hmm. whatever. It was a painful vision. Mm-hmm but it was a passionate vision. Mm. What you have as passion Mm. is supposed to be the fuel that drives what you have as vision. Mm. Let me say that again. Mm. What you have as passion Mm -hmm. is what drives what you have as vision. Mm. You're in the media. Mm. I believe you have a lot of passion for it. Yes. Imagine you without passion. 
you you just be sitting there and say ah uh, people you know today i'm not sure i, I uh -huh. you understand mm -hmm. but it is your passion that drives your vision yeah uh, vision is not easy mm -hmm. there will be challenges to vision mm -hmm. but it is passion that helps you go mm -hmm. past the challenges that will you will mm -hmm. face during your vision yeah so i think one of the reasons people's vision dies mm -hmm. is because their passion dies mm -hmm. if you have vision mm -hmm. look for what motivates passion wow. yeah there are not other killers we don't i mean there are there are million i think there are as many killers Can as there are visions are the two more okay mm -hmm. two more why would my vision die mm -hmm. uh, thirdly is not doing enough planning mm -hmm. around your vision mm -hmm. this is what i mean mm -hmm. we are quick at dreaming mm -hmm. but very slow at planning yeah we are even quick at praying mm -hmm. but very slow at planning yeah. Yeah. and some man say that if you do not plan mm -hmm. if you you don't you don't even plan to fail right <laughs> you only fail in planning yeah yeah so if you fail to plan mm. you've already planned to, to fail, fail. Mm. so the the planning element is very very key mm. uh, in making sure that visions come to pass mm. then what i would think is a bit obvious but now that you asked for more mm. is not having enough information mm -hmm. about the vision that you have received mm. on the road to damascus acts 26 mm. paul gets a vision mm. jesus tells him you know what mm. i've appeared unto you you're going to be a preacher to the gentiles mm. we like those encounters they were beautiful mm. but paul didn't then wake up and go and preach in the next church mm. no he went for three years mm. into arabia mm. just so that he internalizes the vision mm. he conceptualizes it he prays over it but also gets every information necessary mm. we live in an information hub the google search wikipedia you, you just type in and you get a million results about the thing you think you want to pursue mm. get every information that is probably mm. available to you in the direction mm. of the vision that you carry so the one thing that kills vision more than anything else is mm. ignorance mm. about the elements that cause that vision to come to pass mm. yeah so i believe we have to raise a generation of people who are hungry to know more about what they want to pursue mm. that's why um you pay more money for people who read more mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you understand yes the, the time it takes to be a uh, a doctor is different from the time it takes to be a cab driver yeah <laughs> you know you need a month yeah mm -hmm. you just need a month and a car mm -hmm. and you're a cab driver mm -hmm. but if you're going to be a doctor mm -hmm. you take five years mm -hmm. then they'll tell you take more two years in practice mm -hmm. then you have to again specialize mm -hmm. are you going to be a doctor for teeth Mm -hmm. or a doctor for eyes mm -hmm. or for the heart mm -hmm. you understand yes and the higher information is needed mm -hmm. the more expensive that vision becomes mm -hmm. yeah, i always tell my fellow pastors that come on mm -hmm. you can't be preaching the same scripture the same way mm -hmm. for the entire year mm -hmm. yeah, you have to get more information mm -hmm. about what you are sharing because mm -hmm then your vision will not die because you have more information you mm -hmm. you, you you have more information about the vision that you want to pursue Wow. So go back to school. Mm -hmm. Do you have a vision? Go, go back, back to, to school, school, read another book, mm -hmm. research, go mm -hmm. to the internet, find everything that you can around the vision that mm -hmm. you're trying to pursue. Wow. Mm -hmm. And the apostle says you have to plan. You have to go back to school. You have to add more knowledge so that you can make your vision happen in reality. Our education is and and it's funny that the apostle didn't talk about the devil because I think the devil is one of the last killers. <laughs> we, we usually like to put him in front. The uh -huh. thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. Mm -hmm. You, you mm -hmm. know. <laughs> so I didn't talk about him because I don't want to give him airplay. Mm. But if if for any other reason mm. i think the devil is, is his job is to kill vision yeah but mm. is it faith also important when we have vision faith yes of course you, i i mean um without faith mm. you can't get vision let me let me put it this way mm. that faith is the spirit of vision mm. uh, mm. faith is the spirit of vision mm. when you say i have a vision 
I'm going to be somebody. I'm mm-hmm. going to get somewhere. That's faith. Mm-hmm. It's the spirit of the vision. Mm-hmm. So as you're growing in faith, mm-hmm. actually men of faith are very visionary. One of the ways you know that a man is a man of faith mm-hmm. is how visionary they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, Hebrews 11.1 1 says, Now mm-hmm. faith is the substance mm-hmm. of things hoped for. Mm-hmm. It is the evidence of things not seen. What's mm-hmm. that? Vision. vision. Okay, so it's the evidence of vision mm-hmm. and it's the substance of vision. It's the spirit that drives vision. Mm. If I want to know what my 2023 is going to be or mm. the year that I'm in mm. and I want to be successful in it, mm. yeah, I don't even have mm. to first ask God to give me a dream. Mm. I have to ask God to give me faith. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm. once he gives me faith, mm. faith must be expressed. Mm. Faith is not static. Faith is the expression of God in a man's spirit. Mm. So that faith produces vision. It's mm. the spirit that drives vision. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. As we are emphasizing about faith, may it happen that sometimes our personal visions are different from the plan of God. Yes, so definitely. When does that uh, case happen? Should we resign from our vision or we should should we uh, respond to the call of God? Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, God wants to work with us. He doesn't want to work against us. Okay. Ah, yeah. God wants to be your best friend. He yeah. wants to be your vision partner. Mm-hmm. In fact, I usually joke because mm-hmm. I do a lot of teaching on vision. Mm-hmm. And uh, if, if they, our viewers will get time to go to our YouTube channel, mm-hmm. you know, you will see that uh, I speak a lot about faith and about vision. Mm-hmm. And one of the jokes I usually make mm-hmm. is that the first company you need to start, mm-hmm. my name is Joshua. Mm-hmm. So you must start a, a company called Joshua and God mm-hmm. Associates. Yeah. Okay. I mean, me and God are the first partners mm-hmm. in anything that we start. Mm-hmm. So that you don't have to do damage control mm-hmm. when God then comes in and says, no, this is the way walking it. Mm-hmm. And yet you've gone a hundred miles in the left. Mm-hmm. So it's better for you to know the right way mm-hmm. so that you and God are on the same line mm-hmm. rather than push yourself into a place mm-hmm. and then have to do damage control mm-hmm. uh, to get back onto God's path. Mm-hmm. However, that being said, we serve mm-hmm. God. His name is God because he mm-hmm. deals in the impossible. Wow. It's so beautiful that God can use what the enemy meant for evil mm-hmm. and turn it around for good. Yeah. And I have recognized that some of the places I went left mm-hmm. and I thought I had gone left, mm-hmm. I found that I needed the experience of left mm-hmm. to handle right. Yeah. As you were saying, there is a song singing, Yes, yes. Jehovah has turned it, has around turned it around for, for, good. for my good. I'll give you my personal example. Mm-hmm. I studied medicine. Can you imagine? Wow. I went to school, I did physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics. Mm-hmm. In my head, my vision was Dr. Joshua. Joshua. <laughs> but now it's Apostle Joshua. I spent five years thinking mm-hmm. I'm going to be a doctor. Mm-hmm. God said, you're going to be an apostle. Yeah. Well, my personal vision was yeah. to be a doctor. Exactly. God's vision was for me to be an apostle. apostle. Did I waste time doing mm. science? Not I, at I all. No. Because even as I preach, mm. even as I read the Bible, I'm very scientific in my head. Mm. You know, I'm doing equations and I'm looking <laughs> at scriptures in a certain way. You understand? Mm-hmm. Because God gave me an opportunity mm-hmm. to have science mm-hmm. in my spirit mm-hmm. before I go for arts. Mm-hmm. And you, would, I can tell you for a fact that a scientist mm. who then moves into an art field mm. he is a very very dynamic person mm. than an artist who has no experience in science mm. yeah that's true uh the god the word of god says in habakkuk 2 3 okay even though the vision tarries, which means takes a long time yes wait for it for yes. surely it will come at an appointed time. Yes. Dear Pastor, what can you tell to people who have started giving up on uh, their vision? Mm, because that, they take a long time to happen. Yeah, it's it's natural to want things to happen quickly. Mm. Yeah. But what I usually say is the time it takes to make a Toyota Corolla mm. is not the same time it takes to make a Mercedes Benz. Mm. No. No offense. Mm. They are both cars mm. and any of the cars is good enough. Mm. But the time it takes to make a bicycle is not the same time it takes to make mm. a car. Mm. Maybe that's a better analogy so that the Toyota drivers don't think I'm coming against them. Mm. You understand? Mm. But 
my point is here mm -hmm. that your vision a vision that takes time for in your sense it looks like it's taking time mm -hmm. in god's sense mm -hmm. he invests more in the preparation than in the final product mm -hmm. yeah because he knows what he is cooking mm -hmm. go to any hotel all these mm -hmm. professional places they take time yeah. they take time but if you just want you know throw it just boil it boil it and i eat it you know just get the meat <laughs> throw it in hot water and bring it out right now i, I want know. it right now mm -hmm. and then let me eat it that meat won't taste mm -hmm. like 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 chicken that has been marinated mm -hmm. for the entire night mm -hmm. you know they've put all the spices and everything and mm -hmm. marinated it and then in the morning they are preparing this beautiful meal mm -hmm. it tastes better because it took longer mm -hmm. yeah so there are two things that are prepared mm -hmm. now that we're talking about the preparation of vision mm -hmm. and i love that abba cook says the appointed time there are mm -hmm. two things that lead to the appointed time mm -hmm. one is the preparation of the vision mm -hmm. and two is the preparation of the visionary mm -hmm. did you catch that one is the preparation of the vision and, the and two is the preparation of the visionary mm -hmm. both of them have to be prepared mm -hmm. you, you you can't make the vision and not make the man mm -hmm. of the vision because mm -hmm. otherwise you will give a boy an adult's vision mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so as the vision is being marinated or grown mm -hmm. the boy must become a man mm -hmm. so that he can handle look mm -hmm. at look at joseph joseph had a dream mm -hmm. joseph had a vision mm -hmm. every night he says i see the sun i see the stars i see the moon i see mm -hmm. things are bowing before me he had a vision mm -hmm. yeah okay but it was a big vision it wasn't just mm -hmm. about that it was about the entire nation of israel mm -hmm. can you imagine dreaming for a nation wow. yeah some of us just have uh i call them myopic visions mm -hmm. short-sighted vision mm -hmm. just me myself and i that's mm -hmm. where your vision ends me myself, myself and, and i, I. Mm -hmm. but the josephs of our generation have mm -hmm. national mm -hmm. visions mm -hmm. okay now for that national vision to come to pass mm -hmm. look at what joseph went through mm -hmm. look at him mm -hmm. i mean sold into slavery mm -hmm. he's been through prison mm -hmm. been through condemnation false mm -hmm. accusation mm -hmm. but it made him a man mm -hmm. by the time he got to the palace mm -hmm. he can forgive those mm -hmm. who took him to prison yeah because he knows this is not personal fight mm -hmm. this worked together mm -hmm. for my good romans 8:28 all things are working together mm -hmm. for the good it's making me a better man mm -hmm. because god's vision needs a better man mm -hmm. let me talk to the person who has been waiting mm -hmm. the problem is not how long it takes mm -hmm. i want you to take this one home okay. the problem is what you do mm -hmm. while you wait Hallelujah. what kills vision is not the time it took Mm -hmm. what kills vision is you did nothing while you were waiting mm -hmm. so the time of waiting is a time of investment not a time of worry mm -hmm. yeah so the longer it takes the more time you have to invest, to invest mm -hmm. and prepare so that by the time it happens you're a better businessman mm -hmm. don't say god i asked you for startup capital for 10 years i'm mm -hmm. not getting the startup capital okay before the startup capital came mm -hmm. do you have some money for mbs like a mm hundred -hmm. mbs on your phone mm -hmm. do you at least have that mm -hmm. okay fine Can you use that 100 MBs mm -hmm. to study financial management mm -hmm. to study balancing of books <sighs> to accounting. study yes to study <laughs> accounting can, mm -hmm. can you just use 100 MBs you don't need a million shillings to do that mm -hmm. you just a few MBs mm -hmm. go to google mm -hmm. how do i run a business how mm -hmm. can you study while you wait for mm -hmm. the business capital that you're asking mm -hmm. because opportunity will come mm -hmm. but will you be prepared when the opportunity finally arrives mm -hmm. as apostle says there is preparation of the vision and preparation of the vision yes yes right so dear viewers thank you so much as we are at the end of this show thank you so much for following us and we want to ask apostle if you have a last word to tell to our viewers about your vision yes mm -hmm. my last word is there is no limit for a dreamer mm -hmm. there's no limit for a visionary mm -hmm. there's no limit to a man mm -hmm. who can hope again mm -hmm. i don't know where you are i don't know what you've been dealing with mm -hmm. but when the year starts this is our opportunity to also have a restart mm -hmm. but remember a new year must find a new you mm -hmm. can you take some time mm -hmm. to dream again mm -hmm. write down that dream and can you have faith that the god who is at work in you will mm -hmm. also follow through mm -hmm. to see you through the processes that will take you to mm -hmm. the accomplishment of the vision. 
I will encourage you with the words of the Bible. Mm. The scripture says that he that began a good work in you, mm. he's also faithful to mm. bring it to accomplishment mm. by Christ Jesus. Mm. Dream because the Lord caused you to be born for the visions of mm. God. And I pray that even as you listen again to this particular uh, sharing, that your spirit will be reminded of the things that God has mm. always been awakening in the inside of you. Mm. Do not ignore those promptings that God is speaking to you about. Mm. You might be the pilot that mm. Africa needs. Mm. You might be the doctor that Asia is waiting for. Mm. You might be the president mm. that your nation is waiting for. There is no vision too big mm. and there is no vision that will not come to pass if a man can only believe that with God all things are mm. possible. Amen. Uh, dear Apostle, what is the message that you can give to the young people of Burundi who have vision and maybe they're asking themselves, what can I do or make about this vision I'm having? Because sometimes we have vision and we are like, we are just dreaming. I remember in the Bible they say that the siblings of Joseph, they come then just you, a dreamer. They come then uh, a dreamer. So there are some people who are called dreamers they are just dreamers because their siblings or their families don't believe that those dreams can one day become true so what is your message to the young or the young people the Burundian young people okay mm-hmm. uh, one thing I, one statement i'll make mm-hmm. is that every extraordinary man mm-hmm was born ordinary wow mm. everyone you see that is special today mm-hmm. from the heads of state barack obama mm-hmm. desmond tutu mm-hmm. nelson mandela mm-hmm. at birth they were as ordinary as ordinary can be mm-hmm. the difference was they got a dream mm-hmm. and they pursued that dream mm-hmm. we all know about the man who said i have a dream yeah. and we know that that dream did come to pass even mm-hmm. beyond his lifetime mm-hmm. so i think that it, it doesn't matter what people call you mm-hmm. it matters whether you believe them or not mm-hmm. and because you are a dreamer the best way to answer critics mm-hmm. is by activating your dream ah, it's the best way because mm-hmm. i can imagine people who thought Mm-hmm. that these great men were nothing mm-hmm. when you finally become something then they will know mm-hmm. that you knew what you were doing mm-hmm. and let me address burundi as a nation mm-hmm. and let me address the young people mm-hmm. of burundi as a nation mm-hmm. i believe africa is one of the youngest continents mm-hmm. east africa especially almost 70 mm-hmm. percent mm-hmm. of our countries are below 70 years mm-hmm. are, 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 uh, 70 percent and below are, are, are youth mm-hmm. the young people under 35 years of age mm-hmm. that means that the heart of our nations mm-hmm. is the young people yeah so don't ask the nation mm-hmm. one man say don't ask what the nation can do for you mm-hmm. ask what you can do for the nation mm-hmm. i believe that the young people are the heart of the nation and i mm-hmm. pray that we begin to have a heart for our nation mm-hmm. it had to bring reconciliation mm-hmm. it had to bring transformation mm-hmm. it had to bring reformation mm-hmm. every revolution was engineered by young men mm-hmm. so there is a there is an opportunity right now mm. for the young people to change the story, mm. to rewrite the mm. story mm. by being better businessmen, mm. okay, by being better, better professionals, mm. yeah, being better at what you are doing for the good of the nation. Mm. I believe the greatest contribution to development mm. is the workforce from the youth. Mm. So my word for Burundi Mm-hmm. is that Burundi, this is your greatest opportunity. Mm-hmm. Remember, you're joining the East African community mm-hmm. and, and your market is growing. Mm-hmm. Your potential is growing. Yeah. I don't know a beautiful country like Burundi. Mm-hmm. Look at the lake. Look look at the vegetation. Wow. Look at the greens. I mean, mm-hmm. there's potential for tourism, trade, mm-hmm. business. And mm-hmm. it is the young people that should take up these opportunities. Mm-hmm. Don't get lost in, in quarrels and conversations mm-hmm. and, you know, all of these uh, divisions. Yala. Yes, the <laughs> things that divide us. 
No, mm. let's look at the natural resources. Let's mm. look at the spiritual resources. Mm. I've been in this country for a bit mm. and I've seen how passionate people are for God. Mm. You have a spiritual resource. You mm. have natural resource. Mm. Everything is working for Burundi. Mm. The question is, are the young people ready to mm. take advantage of what is working for you? Okay. Please, Apostle, can you keep in prayer those who are struggling with saving their religion or making yes. them happen and those who have who have lost hope yes. about your religion? Yes. So you want me to pray with yes. you? Yes. Okay, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for everyone that is watching, the vision bearers, the vision implementers, the vision supporters. Everyone that is watching and wondering, where do I start? What do I do? Who do I call? You know, I pray for one thing, wisdom. May the, the God of all wisdom, may the God of all wisdom bless you with the necessary wisdom for the vision that he's putting in your heart. May he show you the ways, the formulas, the patterns, the connections that you need. I pray that wisdom will be greater than fear. I pray that faith will be greater than fear. I pray that the Lord will open up opportunities. Mm. May he connect you to people of vision. I pray that even as you're sharing your vision, may you find people who are ready, waiting to run with your vision. Mm. I pray that God will supernaturally mm. connect you to people that are responsible. Mm. For every Mary, may your Joseph begin to appear. Mm. For every Timothy, may your Paul begin to appear. Mm. For every Joseph, may Pharaoh, mm. who's going to promote you, begin to appear. Mm. I pray for you, for the Daniels. May mm. you be the, the, the interpreter of visions and mm. dreams. May the wisdom of God mm. and the connections that only come from God mm. be your portion this year. That you will not struggle with God's vision. You will not be anxious and pushing and, and overly zealous about it. I pray that this vision mm. that God put in you, that mm. God put in you, he will also follow through to make sure that it comes mm. to accomplishment. And I also mm. pray that your heart will be at rest. Yeah. Your heart will rest. There's a place of vision that brings rest in your spirit. Don't be anxious. I refuse any anxiety, any restlessness in your heart. Mm -hmm. If it is of God, it shall come to pass. Mm -hmm. So I pray that God will give you wisdom, knowledge, mm -hmm. supernatural understanding mm -hmm. that causes you to be different from people who do not know God or have God. Mm -hmm. With God, may wisdom be that line mm -hmm. that causes you to excel. This is your year of excellence. Mm -hmm. The year to go over and beyond. They year to do big things. Mm -hmm. So I pray for you. May God cause you to do big things. Bigger than your family members ever anticipated. Bigger mm -hmm. than your friends have ever anticipated. Mm -hmm. May you be the one that breaks records. Mm -hmm. May you be the one that is a starter. A channel breaker, mm -hmm. a barrier breaker. Mm -hmm. May you be the one that will cause changes all around your community, your mm -hmm. home, your family, and even your nation. Mm -hmm. I pray grace for vision over you and grace for wisdom in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you so much, the Apostle, mm -hmm. for giving us on this confusing topic. Mm -hmm. So we believe somebody has been helped with what you mm -hmm. have said. We and God. I think and believe that it is not the last time we have you in that kind of show. Definitely, I'll, I'll look forward for the next time I'm in the country uh -huh. and uh, you can tackle me down and say, hey, do you have one more thing to tell us? Mm -hmm. uh, but otherwise, the world is virtual now. Mm -hmm. They can connect with me through our social media uh, networks, especially mm -hmm. YouTube. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of teaching there. Our mm -hmm. channel is The Kingdom Tabernacle. Mm -hmm. And I believe they'll share that with you. Just mm -hmm. type The Kingdom Tabernacle. You'll see our names coming up. Or even just my name is Apostle Joshua Ham mm -hmm. You should be able to see something subscribe and let's stay in touch and talk vision yeah if you have your phone please can you subscribe on his uh, his channel please please now 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 as we are about to finish this show go and subscribe and i know you'll be blessed anymore and more and more with uh, the talks of our apostle so i also thank you it was a huge privilege and pleasure to have you in the show and uh, God bless you. Thank you. When you go back to Pantaya, please be them on our behalf and say we love them so so much and we are so blessed to have you in mm -hmm. that Thank you so much. So dear viewers, we want to thank you all of you for following us in this good show. And as we say, please like, share and comment 
and also subscribe on our TV and the TV also of the apostle. So please stay blessed and I hope you have enjoyed and you have been changed by this topic. So goodbye and stay blessed. Bye bye.